Our town is very beautiful, well laid out and evenly built as well as I can tell. The streets are wide and straight. There is a popular song here which says that this city is as beautiful as Paris. It is true that Nouvelle Orléans grows day by day and could become in time as beautiful and large as the principal cities of France. Sister Madeleine de Saint Stanislaus. French military engineers designed New Orleans to resemble the cities they knew in Europe, with a church and a public square in the center. The church was such an intricate part of the very fabric of society that it's hard to isolate or to imagine what Louisiana would have been without the presence of the church. The first missionaries to arrive were the Jesuits, followed by the Capuchin friars. However, some of the most important missionaries to come to Louisiana were the women of the Ursuline order. When we were within eight or ten leagues from New Orleans, we began to see plantations. Everyone wanted us to stop and go to their houses. And we were received everywhere with joy beyond expression. Marie de Saint-Augustin Tranchepin, Mother Superior. The Ursulines understood that the key to building a new civilization in this wilderness was the education of women, whether European, African, or Indian. Not only in Ursuline schoolrooms, but throughout the colony, relations between the French and their African slaves were unique in Louisiana. Unlike the British American colonies, slavery here was guided by France's Code Noir. It basically spelled out the rights of the slaves. They were recognized as persons. They had certain rights that even their masses were required to respect. They had to be baptized into the Catholic faith. They could not be uh, denied the right to come to church. If they were married, they could not be separated. If they had children, they could not be sold apart. Now, that was some of the very, very important protections that exist in Louisiana that did not exist in some of the British colonies uh, which neighbored uh, Louisiana. The original Code Noir provided that if a slave became the mother of a child of the master, then the master was obligated to marry this woman, free her and their children. This was the first version of the Code Noir, the French code that regulated slavery. Many former slaves purchased their family members still in bondage and liberated them. Before long, Louisiana had a prosperous and growing population of free people of color. Racial barriers were not very firm at all in colonial Louisiana. They firmed up much later. This was a place where there was a face-to-face -face encounter of people from all over the world. In New Orleans and throughout Louisiana, this global village united to form a new culture that would come to be known as Creole. <laughs> 